There's an awful lot of conjecture on the internet about the Fishman Fluence pickups and whether they're based, or certainly whether the modern pickup is based on the Seymour Duncan JB. Well, in this video, we're gonna compare the two. We're gonna go into depth. We're gonna compare them with a cleanish sound, with a crunchy sound. We're gonna have a look at a lead sound. We're gonna compare them on a spectrum analyzer so you can actually see where each frequency responds. And we're not going to do it in a metal context. Nothing wrong with metal, but there's very little YouTube content that helps you compare pickups where it's not very chuggy and very metal. So we're going to do something slightly different to that as well. Okay, here we go. This is my best sound. We're going to start with the fluence. We're using the bridge pickup and we are using voice two. Voice two is the fatter, more traditional humbucky hot humbucky kind of sound that has been compared or has been alleged to have been compared to the JB. So our basic sound is this. I've got a JCM 800 with a little bit of crunch on it, but not a lot. We're going to add to that as we go. So first sound basics, we've got something like this. <laughs> Let's try the same thing on the Duncan JB. Different guitar, but the pickup heights are the same. So anything else in the equation is very, very minimal. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Adding just a little bit of overdrive, exactly the same sounds. This is the same thing with the Tube Screamer on. We're back to the Fluence. And swap it. JB. <laughs> And ramping up the game, here's a little bit of leadness with the fluence. Back to the JB. I can't remember what I played, but something similar. <laughs> So there are the basic tones. I'll leave you to make your own conclusions. However, on this spectrum analyzer, you can actually see what's going on. It's rather interesting. So let's have a look. Okay, what I've got here is I've got some oscilloscopes that I've taken. I've just screenshotted them. All I did was I played a clean chord in. I played an E chord. No amps, nothing, just to pick up straight into the workstation. And this is what we got. So the top one, is the Fishman and the bottom one is the JB. The first thing that strikes me looking at these is how much dynamic range each one has got. So on the Fishman, we're looking at a 12 dB dynamic range all the way up until just under 1K. On the Duncans, the JBs though, we're looking at a much bigger, nearly 18 dB dynamic range at some points. Okay, that's the first thing I noticed that's different. Then, if you compare the Fishman, if you look up here, from here to, well, to here, it's completely flat. Whereas, from a similar point there to there, there's a very slight fall in the Duncans. However, when we look at the next bit, can you see here where we've got a bit of an inflection point? Just there. Well, we've got a straight line there, then a very clear inflection point, and then we drop at that kind of angle with a little bit of a hump there. And maybe it's a second inflection point. 
Okay, so this is the Fishman, and we seem to have a drop off starting at what's that? There, we're probably looking at about 1.4k or 1.3 and a half, something like that. But we've already dropped a little bit. On the, the JBs underneath, um, we've got a flat bit there, really, haven't we? To here. And then we seem to have an inflection point there in much the same place, if not slightly higher, slightly higher. So the mids are a little bit elevated, a little bit pushed and are going up a little bit further on the Duncans if we look at where the, that range is. But the interesting thing for me is the way it falls down here. Um, the Fishman seems to, to pile off a little bit quicker and we lose altogether at, what's that, seven, seven and a half? Whereas the Duncan has a lot more on the very top end. Now, you know, there's not a lot of dynamic there, but it is there. So we're getting a little bit more top end on the Duncan. So looking at this, the conclusion would be that the Fishman is a bit more compressed. The Duncan has holds onto its mid a little bit more, but it does slope off and it has a slightly higher high. But otherwise, you know, they're pretty similar. So there we have it, the Fishman Fluence. Is it the same as the Duncan? Is it not? Is it very similar? Well, looking at what we've seen today, it probably is fairly similar. The Fishman's a slightly hotter pickup. The output is a little bit higher. So you do get a little bit more gain with it, but otherwise they are, well, you draw your own conclusions. You tell me in the comments below and don't forget, like and subscribe because that really helps the channel and I'll bring back some more content and more things like this for you to look at as well. I've got some comparisons coming of Fishman's against the EMGs and all sorts of other things. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>